Rake project management tutorial. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Rake platform to you for project management. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you might be wondering is what is Rake? What are the different things you can do with it? And what is the platform all about? So you can see that Rake provides you many different solutions. So you can use project management, you can do marketing, creative, professional services, product development, and company-wide teams for your project so it's very easy to get started on Rike. all you're gonna do is you're gonna enter your email over here you're gonna click on start for free and then you're going to just create your account so this is going to lead you to a sign in to your rank account now you can choose to log in with your google apple or office id or you can just enter your email and then enter your password i'm going to log in and i'll get back to you guys in a second now, once you log on to Rike, this is going to be your basic dashboard. And you might seem a bit confused by the look of this dashboard because it's pretty different than the basic dashboards you might have seen. But you can see over here that this dashboard is a bit different than the usual dashboard you might have seen on other platforms. It is also a pretty easy to understand dashboard. Now, you can see on the top right, you have your basic account settings and you can add different workspaces or create any kind of task, project, folder or space using this icon over here. And after that, you have this square icon where you can see your own to do list. You can see any tasks and all tasks that have been created by you, anything that you share with other people. Then you also have your own dashboard dashboards, calendars, reports, streams, and then you have your shared with me section and a recycled bin section. Now, below that, you're going to find your navigation bar for all of these items that I mentioned. And on the center of your home screen, you're, go you're going to find all of your recommended tasks and all of the different spaces that you work on. Now, on the left, you're actually going to find the useful tools where you have your home page, you have your messaging page, but after that, you have a page that will open up the different projects with dependencies or any kind of project that you're working on onto your basic dashboard. And you can see that if you go on the personal section, you can rename any of those sections into anything you want and then focus all your work from that area into this little section. Now, there are many ways that you can create different projects and folders. One way is to just click on this plus icon on the left over here and then you can just create a new project. Let's just say fashion and you can add what kind of folder you want this to be in. So you can use this in a project folder or a general folder. But after that, you're going to set a finish date if you want one. Now you can add a few different views for your workspace like so. And then you can make it public or private. You're going to click on create. And this is how you're going to create a basic looking workspace or a dashboard onto your Reich account. Now, once you have created your basic workspace, you can see that within your workspace, you have different views. Now, first off, you have a basic list view and then you have a table view and you can click on any kind of plus icon over here. So you're just going to click on a plus icon and then you can add more views onto your basic dashboard. Now, you can later on uh, remove and add more views as you go and you can remove the ones that you don't need by clicking on these three dots and then you can set one as default and hide the other. Now after you have created your workspace, you're going to start this by adding your tasks. So you're just going to click on add over here and you're going to add a title. So let's just do fashion tasks and you're just going to click on enter and you can see over here this is a new and basic task. Now. What I like to do is if you want, you can just add a due date and add a assignee directly. So that would keep your work simplified by a lot. But if you don't want to do that, you can add your tasks in bulk and then start assigning them to other people. Now, after you have worked in a certain workspace, you can see that you not only have a personal workspace, but then you can create more. And the more workspaces you create, it's going to be a separate category for each of these. So you have your personal ones, you have your team ones, you have your project with dependencies, and then you're going to have absolutely different different information or data within those little boundaries so after you have made projects and folders you have a team from ap math then this ap math team can't send anything directly to the project with dependencies people or any of the other teammates now this is just a general overview of how the platform works what is the actual pricing and plan for this platform now Rike starts with a free version where you can get unlimited users web desktop and mobile application personalized app experience via ai work intelligence then you also have tasks and subtract management you have live activities stream across
cross global project and task views and then you also have external and internal collaborators you can have interactive board and spreadsheet views you can have account-wide work schedules you can have cloud storage now you can have a active task limitation be applied to you on right which is the biggest hurdle that i find that you're going to see in the right platform so if you're looking to do 50 60 70 tasks on a singular account you might not be able to do them on the right platform now after that they have their professional version which starts at 6.80 dollars per month so it's around 10 dollars where you get 5 to 200 users so you can add a bunch of people more than enough people you have shareable dashboards you have interactive gantt charts you have productivity integrations and one to two gigabytes of storage per user now after that you have the business version which has a lot more than the professional version and this is why i don't ever recommend the professional version while the business version does start at 24 dollars or almost 25 dollars it is still a better option than the professional one because it has stuff like real-time reporting and report templates you have request forms and calendars personal and account-wide work schedules you also have resource management time tracking workload charts uh, effort and time allocation and so much more now moving on to the enterprise version obviously you're going to have to contact the rake platform to understand the billing for this but it's pretty unrealistic and we couldn't match up to that so once you have taken a look at the free version or the trial version of Rake, you can then choose to either continue using the free version or opt for a business version or a professional version or even a enterprise version. But make sure that you do actually check out the free version of Rake before you sign up for something that you might not even enjoy. So this was just a basic overview of the Rake project management platform. Now, you can obviously choose the business version for any larger team, but I would suggest that you start off with the free version of Rake, where you're going to get all of the basic features that you need. And after that, you should upgrade to the business version. And if you don't like the overall look of the Rake platform, you can customize it a lot. And if you're still not very interested or captivated by the right platform you can obviously choose other project management softwares like ClickUp or Trello. Both are pretty similar to Rake but still have a different interface but if you're more detail oriented you can go with a platform like monday.com where you're going to be able to find more details within your project. Now if you are still going to work with Rake you need to know all of the basic features that you can use and I would suggest that whenever you're starting off with any of these little uh, project management softwares or any kind of project management software you should start off by checking their dashboards and their calendars because these are going to give you a good estimate of what kind of project management software are you running. Now, on a basic dashboard on RIG, you should be able to get all of your basic data and information about the project that you are running. Now, if we go up to our homepage over here, and we click on our dashboards over here, you can see you have three dots where you can hide your dashboards as well as make them visible. So if you click on dashboards, which is only a premium feature on Rake, so you're not gonna be able to provide any kind of dashboard for any of your clients on Rake, but you can do it on monday.com or ClickUp. And if we were to take a look at the calendar, on the right platform, you can see over here that the calendar feature is also a premium feature only. So that is why I find that it can be a bit annoying to use the right platform when I'm doing my day-to-day -day tasks and managing different projects altogether because I find that having these kinds of basic features as premium only can be a bit of a minor inconvenience. Now, that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to easily work on the Rike project management software. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and family to make sure that they can learn a thing or two as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.